Hello everyone, welcome to your Plant Illusion channel. I'm Mish. I'm Blues. I'm Mastodon. And I'm Rocco. This is going to be the second update video. And as such, it will be a brief video about some things we are changing about the game. Also, after we finish talking about the updates to the game, there will be a Plant Illusion battle in this video. We have done a lot of playtesting with Planet Vulcan and discovered that it is much more powerful than any of the other planets in set 1. Its ability is to place two plus 50 plus 50 counters on creatures, and that gets out of hand really easily. The best example is the card Sediment on Planet Vulcan. Sediment might seem weak, but with Planet Vulcan placing two plus 50 plus 50 counters on it every turn, if your opponent can't kill it right away, it can easily become a huge and powerful threat for only 3 DNA. Not only that, but while your opponent struggles to destroy Sediment, you are saving up tons of DNA. To stop the stacking of plus 50 plus 50 counters on the same creature, we have changed the ability to not allow the plus 50 counters to be placed on the same creature two turns in a row. So if you want to use Planet Vulcan's ability every turn, you will need to play more than just one creature. We are currently working on publishing the Uff and Vulcan starter decks. We have already finished the Uff starter deck and are working on finishing the Vulcan starter deck so that we can order both of them and publish them. We have tested the Uff starter deck and it's about the same power level as the Terraro Sacrifice starter deck. We have also been working on putting cards into a website called Untap. It is a website where you can play card games online. We are doing this first so that we can test certain cards or decks, and second so that you, the people watching our channel, can try playing our game. We realize that if you have never played Plan Illusion, you may not want to order a deck without even knowing what the game is like. This way, you can try playing our card game with your friends to see what it's like. Also, if you don't have any friends. Also, if you have no one to play with, you can email us at askplanillusion at gmail.com to set up a time when you can play with one of us. We can communicate through the chat on Untap during the game to clear up any questions about the rules, but it would be very helpful if you watch our rules video beforehand to learn how to play. Now, on to the battle video. Hi guys, now after that brief update video, time for the promised battle video. Well, part of the video. So, I'm going to talk a bit about my deck. So, my deck is an Uff deck, and it's looking to deal as much damage as possible in one turn after it saves up a bit, and then finish off the opponents with cards like Portail. And if you don't know Portail, it like stops an attack from the opponent and deals them damage back. Here it is, actually. And Mastodon's deck, it's about a card called Melt the Mountaintops, which allows you to play out a fire creature uh, from your hand, and then he deals damage, depending on the fire creature's DNA, to one of my cards. And he tries to bring out really powerful creatures with Mount the Mountain Taps and just get a DNA advantage over time and just kill me with huge stuff. So now we're going to begin. Mastodon's going to go first, as this indicates. So go ahead. He just passes the turn, wanting to save up, I guess. I'm going to draw a card, because I'm second. And I think I'm going to save up in hopes of a bigger turn later. Well, a big turn, as I didn't do anything this turn. So Mastodon drew a card, and now he's at 9 DNA. Growing Flame and Clocky. Clocky has Protector, which means uh, uh, if a... An opponent has a creature with protector. You can only attack creatures they have with protector. That defends Growing Flame, who gets bigger every turn. So this is pretty bad for me, but I think I can probably take them out anyway. So he attacks me with both the creatures, and I take 300 damage in total. By the way, uh, if you haven't realized already, the DNA over here, well, I mean the symbol, the numbers over here, they represent the amount of DNA we have. So my turn, I draw a card. I go up to 10 DNA now. I am going to... Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. By the way, you forgot to put a plus counter on Growing Flame because it's my turn. I'm just telling Mastodon. Um, so I think I'm going to play out... Yeah, this works. I'm going to play out Water Puff. Water Puff for 4 DNA because they each cost two. And then a cough for only five DNA because of Moonoff's ability, which makes it cheaper. 
And Abkaf puts two plus 50 counters on each of my creatures. Oh, oops. I returned it to my hand on accident instead of putting counters on it. And now I'm going to move to attacks. And let's see. So Growing Flame has 250 attacks, so it kills any of my guys that would attack it. But first, I have to kill Clocky anyway, because it has protectors. So one of the water puffs take up, takes out uh, Clocky. Okay, Mastodon heard me there. And now the second water puff will take out the Growing Flame and die. And Growing Flame is dead. Now I attack directly for 600 damage with a cuff. Go ahead. He draws a card. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that gains way too much DNA. Mastodon just passes the turn, I guess saving up. I will draw a card. Ooh, that's a good draw. I think I can win this turn. I'm going to play Siege Fluff for my hand for 6 DNA. And his ability allows me to bring out an F type creature, costing 4 less DNA for my hand. And here he is. With Siege Fluff's ability, I bring out Cocoa Puff from Planet Off. So I think I can win with this attack unless Mastodon has like a Porto or something. So first, I guess I'm going to attack with a Cuff. Oh, he does have a Porto. And that stops my attack. And I'm dealt up to 500 of the damage the attack would deal back to me. So I take 500. Because Abkuf has more than 500. And now Siege Fluff attacks for 400. No responses. Now Water Puff attacks for 400. And Cocoa Puff attacks for 250. So close. If he didn't have that poor tail, he would have been done. But, okay. Yeah, Mastodon's turn. He's at 10 DNA, which is pretty scary. Because I know he has a lot of big things in his... Yep. Lava Golem. So Lava Golem is a powerful creature. And you can read its ability on the right. Mm -hmm. Let's see who Lava Golem is going to kill. I'm guessing of Cuff, yeah. Abkuf dies. So Lava Golem's ability allows it to deal 100 damage to a creature I control and 50 damage to just every creature I control, but that's not enough to kill any of my other creatures, so my creatures are safe. I gain 5 DNA, and it's time to disappoint Mastodon, because he has... I don't know what... Yeah, he's lost. Because I play Stein Tribe, and might as well just play Doi Puff out. I move to combat, Stein Tribe's ability, I attack Lava Golem, and because it died, it destroys the creature it fought, so Lava Golem's dead. And now, let's just finish you off with first Cocoa Puff from Planet of Uff attacks for 250. And then Doi Puff for the win, finishes off Mastodon. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed, and as we said earlier in the update video, feel free to email us at AskPlanOlution about any questions or if you want to play with us on Untapped. So thank you, and goodbye. Good.